Hello everybody and welcome to The Great Kitchen. Now this week we are going classic Italian. So we're going to be making a lovely carbonara and we're going to be pairing it with a Cattarato Pinot Grigio blend from Sicily. So, well, let's get cracking and enjoy. So as always, we'll get started with our ingredients. Now carbonara is a bit of a polarizing dish because there are a lot of people who won't consider some things authentic. However, if you want to make a carbonara style dish, then this is the video for you. So we'll start with the pasta. Now I've gone for fresh tagliatelle. However, the really authentic the way is with spaghetti. Same with the meat, I've gone for pancetta, but if you're being really authentic, you will want to use guanciale. Same with the cheese. I've gone for a 30 month aged Parmigiano Reggiano, but you would want to use a pecorino. Add an egg and add pepper and we're good to go. So we've added a bit of olive oil to the pan and we've also put some water on the hob to start simmering and just add a pinch of salt to that water. Now the pancetta has gone in the pan and we are going to cook this while the water comes to boil. Don't worry that you've not put your pasta in yet because if you're using fresh pasta it literally just takes about two minutes to cook. Now what we're doing with the pancetta is we are just giving it a little bit of a stir so it doesn't all burn on one side but we're just waiting for it to go slightly brown before we add the pasta now once it has started going brown we're going to add the pasta into the water as displayed here and again you just want that in for two minutes and we're going to resume the pancetta Right, let's quickly talk about the wine. Now, I've chosen a Catarato Pinot Grigio blend from Sicily um, because of the acidity that it has. Now, Carbonara is a really creamy dish. It's also salty, it's fatty, it's just brilliant, but you're gonna need something to cook through all these rich flavors, and this wine is perfect for it. Catarato, normally used in blends, and it's got a bit of a mineral quality to it whereas pinot grigio well everyone knows what pinot grigio is like it's citrusy it's refreshing it's really just quite easy to drink and this is a great great wine to have with carbonara so it wouldn't be a great kitchen video if i didn't post a clip of me being a pretentious wanker however in all seriousness the wine was lovely it was so fruit forward citrusy a little bit of grapefruit a lovely note of pear and great mineral notes oh god i'm such a wanker so we're on the home straight now we're adding the pasta to the pancetta with a little bit of the pasta water in as well add a bit of pepper and stir together and just let everything reduce a little bit then add a little bit of cheese now when i say a little bit of cheese i mean add as much as you want and i added quite a lot because well I love it <laughs> um, and we're gonna stir all that together and then when it's all amalgamated we're gonna quickly take it off the heat and let it set for a little while because we're going to add the egg now it's really important that it's not on the heat when the egg goes in because you don't you really just don't want scrambled eggs in your pasta you just want it to coat it so it makes a bit of a sauce Again, add a bit more cheese if you want, because this is what gives it the creamy texture with the egg. There is literally no cream in this at all, but it's just a lovely creamy in texture dish. Stir it all together and serve her up. So this is the Great Kitchen's own carbonara served with Dea Del Mare's Catarato Pinot Grigio blend, and it is wonderful so i've been james this has been the grape kitchen and thank you ever so much for watching